energy, the power of the sun, the strength and vitality of personality. Throughout history, we've called personal energy charisma or described it as an unseen aura, or we've painted it as a corona, a halo. Now at the University of California at Los Angeles, a laboratory exists where researchers are attempting to capture this human energy on film. The process is called Curlian photography, named after Seymour and Valentina Curlian, Russian scientists who pioneered it in the 1930s. Okay, if you place your finger on the top row of the film. The subject places her fingertips on a sheet of photographic paper, which lies on top of an electrically charged plate. The paper is exposed and developed like an ordinary black and white photograph. The results, however, are not at all ordinary. These curly and motion pictures reveal that an energy field, or corona, exists around each fingertip as it does around different parts of the body. This corona, rather than remaining constant, varies with changes in the subject's state of mind. In one experiment, the subject, calm at the start, is pricked with an unpleasantly sharp object. The corona of her thumb, at first brilliant and wide, becomes increasingly smaller and less distinct under stress, until, with the subject at her most anxious, it almost disappears. In a reverse experiment, a tense subject is invited to have a drink and relax, under strictly controlled conditions, of course. At the outset, the subject is anxious. His corona is thin. After nine ounces of alcohol, it becomes broader. After 14 ounces, it displays what you might almost call a rosy glow. You, look, you certainly look more relaxed. Yes, well, I'm, yeah, okay. In an experiment done with cancerous and healthy rats, the results indicate a definite difference in the corona around their tails. The implications of this research are promising. If these tests are substantiated, perhaps one day curly and photography will be used as a tool in medical diagnosis. Every living thing radiates an energy all its own. Yet to what do these energy fields correspond? Curlian photographs of plant leaves and flower petals have raised some curious and as yet unanswered questions. Normally, healthy plants have distinctive colorful coronas. On a few occasions when part of a leaf has been cut off, a strange ghost afterimage appears. Researchers call it the phantom leaf effect, but no one knows yet what it means. Healing, the transfer of energy from the stronger to the weaker. For centuries, there have been stories of miracles, of the curative effects of people with unusual powers. Now, curly and photography is being used to look for a more scientific explanation of those seemingly supernatural forces. It's been found, for instance, that a damaged leaf, when passed over by a human hand, displays an aura that is whole and luminous. What happens when two human energy fields come in contact? Tim and Lois are lovers. Photographed alone, his finger's aura is blue and spiky. Hers is white and softer around the edges. When they touch, their coronas mix and mingle. In contrast, observe this Curlian photograph of people who are a little angry at each other. And this one, in which the person on the left is extremely hostile. Research has shown that the auras of the strong tend to dominate the weak, as can be seen in this Curlian family portrait. Mother and father at the top, child at the bottom, rather overwhelmed. Human energy, the life force, those regions which till now have been the realm of the poet and the mystic may, through Curlian photography, become clearer to the rest of us.